Hey guys, what's up? Well, I haven't been posting any videos yet on YouTube because work is really starting to take its toll on me. But anyways, we got some good news, great news, and bad news. Well, I'll start off with bad news first. Well, PDDM89, he came over today and he couldn't resist uh, not having a tarantula, so I decided um, to give him his G Pulchra and his Zeke Presma Lessie back, so hope they're in good care. I know he takes good care of his spiderlings and uh, wish him luck on that one. So the better news, um, one of my teas molted, uh, my Salmopoas Pulker, Panama Blonde, Rosalina, I just noticed why she webbed the crap out of their enclosure and believe it or me there's a skin so I would assume she would probably be around the three inch mark. I don't know. But I guess we could uh, find out. Okay, let me get a flashlight. Uh, it's not hard. To I would say 3 plus. The molt is there, so that's cool. And now for the best news, well, he decided to surprise me and what a great surprise, well, right there, that's my beauty. Well, this is a five inch Brachypalma smithy Mexican red knee. Wow, gorgeous. I lost the pole crab, but I gained an awesome got find. So I can't thank PDDM89 enough, so he decided to surprise me by giving this one to me. That's so I decided to give him his uh some of his teas back. So he deserves it, he's a great pal of mine. And I'm happy to have met him. So tomorrow morning, uh, I'm going to prepare the, an enclosure for a bee smithy and uh, you'll see how I house it. So, hope you enjoyed this awesome video and my new bee smithy and my new pea poker molt. Alright guys, take care. So cock a doodle do and the morning after so if you want to compare B. Smithy, I don't know what to name her. I was thinking either uh, Venus or Athena, which is the uh, goddess of love and beauty, since she is a beauty. So that's uh, her, the new one. And if you want to compare Scarlet, here's Scarlet, also a uh, confirmed female B. Smithy. Awesome. And so, uh, I'm going to be posting Tarantula Feeding Video 43 really soon. Um, I'm hoping I could do it this Friday. Uh, I don't know if my pulker came out from her hide. Uh, no, we're not going to see it that much. But if you want to see my roofie, that big roof a lot of that molten there, that's the molted skin of her. She's about like four inches. She's probably like five, maybe five and a half. My god, she's a monster. Hang on, let me just uh, put it here so I can put on macro. Check that baby out. Holy crap, she's awesome. Yeah, I would assume maybe close to the six inch mark now. And that's what a Rufalado looks like. A female. Just look at that yellow, it's so pronounced. These guys get up to about 10 inches. Sweet. Alrighty, so I decided to go ahead and prepare the enclosure. So this is your typical um, setup for Iraqi Palma Smithy, Mexican Redney. 
as you can see it's nothing really too fancy uh, all this is a 5.7 liter um, Sterlite uh, shoebox enclosure with a hide I got this from um, the expo that's actually cork bark Spagnum moss it's not really needed but um, my father insisted me of putting some uh, spagnum moss a water dish and of course your tea so uh, let me get the water dish or the water actually <clears throat> you don't need to miss terribly be smithy they don't like that much uh, wet substrate so I'll probably miss that one once a week and uh, yeah alright time for the big test god she's big she's awesome man I'd kill to have a bracky palma another one and I got two smithy females can't breed them but I don't care I just I just uh, love bee smithy so he tells me that uh, this particular specimen is a really bad hair kicker so we can find out I know all bracky palmas are Uh, I guess she's calm. Oh. Uh, Mac, as you can hear. Emma Athena, or Venus. Oh, she's awesome. No, she doesn't want to go. <laughs> yeah, sweetie. Wow, oh, good girl. See, as you can see, she's around five inches, uh, five plus, and uh, you can see shoebox enclosure is perfect for an adult Agapelma. Uh, so, whoop! Now she's starting to become a little bit skittish. Just want to see her. See if you pinch grab her. Yeah, she seems to be skittish. But anyways, there's a new Beast Smithy. So what do you guys think? Athena or Venus? Venus is the Roman goddess of uh, love and beauty, and Athena is the Greek goddess of love and beauty. So you know, these are one of my favorite Bacchior Palma species. So let me know what you guys think. So can't thank PDM89 once again for this awesome tea. So hope he enjoys his... Um, company for his G Pulcra and his C Perez Melesi. Man, I fattened her up and she is probably close to around three quarters to about an inch right now. I noticed that she molted. Cool. So anyway guys, hope you enjoyed this awesome video and uh, stay tuned for a Let's Play series of um, New Super Mario Brothers Wii. Uh, because, well it's May 12th today and about 12 or 13 days from now, uh, Mario Galaxy 2 is supposed to come up, so uh, I'm going to start speeding up on those videos so I can finish it in time so I can play that game. And just before I let you go, I believe I gave one before uh, to iPhone App Review HD. Uh, he's been helping me create um, my website, uh, which I will post in the video description. I'm starting to build up on that one. So it's a lot of tech talks and uh, app reviews on your iPhone. Anyways, so, so subscribe to him and hope you enjoyed this uh, video. Alright guys.